Hello everyone. Um, so yeah, I was at Dollar General not too long ago and I ran across these and I figured, well, I need some content so I will, guess I'll share these with you. Why not? A little bit of variety, you know. Although, I do a lot of these videos, but not all the time. Therefore, it qualifies. I hope. I think. I say it is. Therefore, it's the truth. Alright, so yeah. Got some nice box sets here for 20 bucks. Uh, this has uh, four films and this has five. So for 40 bucks, I got nine movies. All right, that's not too bad, I suppose. It could be better. I mean, if this were to be, you know, like a for Mill Creek or something, you know, I'd have, you know, about 20 movies for five bucks quality will probably wouldn't be very good because of you know they always compress their stuff to fit it on there so anyways so yeah um let's see which one open uh let's do the gangster one it's like the set i'm most interested in later all right Ultimate Gangster Collection. Classics. Obviously, it's not the Ultimate Gangster Collection because there's only four films. And I got a bunch of, you know, noir stuff over there. You know, with my Criterion stuff. So, yeah. But, comes with this nice little book and whatnot, which is cool. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Thought I was ripping something, but guess not. Oh, I was ripping that. That's what I was hearing. So we're all good. All right. Yeah. Let's take a look at the Blu-ray first. Okay. Let's see. Haha. Yeah. -ha, yes. Do all of these have? Oh, awesome. All of these have a night at the movies. I love the night at the movies things that Warner Brothers does. I only have a couple right now, I think. Right now it's uh, Robin Hood and either Casablanca or Gone with the Wind. One of those. I want to say Casablanca has night of the movies, but what night of the movies is, is it's, exa it's presented exactly as it would have been in the cinema so not only do you get the film but you get everything else you get you know the shorts the newsreel just as it would be so i always say that like cinema at least at this point in time that i'm aware of is the closest a person can get to traveling through time Especially if it's a film that takes place then in the modern times. So, you know, like all these, you know, noir things. You know, if it's from 39, it's more or less it takes place in 39 and whatnot. So, it's a real time capsule of something. It's one of the things that I really like about film. Is you can see the evolution of everything, you know. From the technology, to the mindsets, to just the way things look, you know, with the fashion and architecture it's it's really cool but yeah so let's see yeah it says okay yeah because uh okay it's introduced by uh Leonard Moulton you know he does all kinds of stuff like that in the newsreel comedy short the eyes had it the cartoon smile Donnie a smile the theatrical trailers so yeah and I was reading uh, for a uh, public enemy or the public enemy not to be confused with public enemy so yeah for movies let's let's dive into this because I've been talking enough about uh how much I love the whole night at the movies concept because it's it's awesome and something like 
Criterion, that's something Criterion should do. Warner Brothers is, it's one thing that Warner Brothers is doing better than Criterion. Otherwise, Criterion is almost the way to go with half of the stuff. At least if you want to look, you know, all, uh, you know, uh, upper crust and, uh, you know, all that, you know, like, oh yeah, yeah, look at me, I got, I got real movies over there, I don't have that, you know, uh, uh, uh. What, what, what is that? Uh, Fast and the Fierce? No, 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 man. No, 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 no. Other movies over there. Much better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, like that. So, I'm not exactly sure what I was saying there. I sort of lost track there. Anyways, let's, let's see what we got. So, each movie has its own little disc. So, a nice little... And then, I think I'm gonna need some money holding it. Okay, so, wait. Okay, yeah, this is the bonus disc, which is just a documentary and a uh, mob of crew. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's check out these special features. Let's see what we have on here, because on the case, they don't tell you what the special features are. Like, what do they say for? Where are they? Where, where, where did I stick the? Here we go. Yeah, the bonus DVD. Like it says, uh, "Public Enemies: The Golden Age of Gangster Films," feature-length documentary. But here it also says that okay, a feature-length documentary, "Public Enemies: The Golden Age of Film of the The Golden Age of the Gangster Film," but it also has mob of classic gangster themed cartoons i like mountain music she was an acrobat's daughter racketeer rabbit and bugs and thugs so we have some other things other than what they advertise and they don't mention any special features on here so all this stuff in here this is new to me as far as i was concerned there might not have been any special features but i was hoping because i'm with Sinatra, it says blah, 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 and more. And there's a lot more than what they're saying here. So, okay. Special features. Okay, we got a commentary with Robert Scalar. And then right at the movies, as mentioned, this is for Public Enemy again. And then a feature at Beer and Blood, Enemies of the Public. And the 1954 re-release forward. Little Caesar has commentary by Richard B. Jewell. The, uh, another night at the movies, then the shorts are The Hard Guy, and the cartoon is uh, Lady Player Mandolin. And then we have a feature right, Little Caesar, and Rico, beginning of the anti hero, and the 1954 re release forward. Petrified Forest, commentary with hum uh, Humphrey. Humphrey Bogart biographer, Eric Lax, Night at the Movies again, which has a musical short, Rhythmatis, and the cartoon is Cuckoo Nut Grove. And we have a featurette, audio only bonus, um, the Gulf Screen Theater broadcast, White Teat. Commentary with Dr. Drew Casper, Night at the Movies, and we have a comedy. Uh, so You Think You're Not Guilty, and the cartoon is Homeless Hair. And the feature right is White Heat. Top of the world! So, that's the disc. Let's check out the book, shall we? Seeing all this, like having all these... I think it was, this is worth it. 20 bucks for all this. Eh, not bad. I, the Night at the Movies is really what's selling it. All of them have it. And I really like that. I can't express how much I like that. So here's the books. The book. So... Yeah, and each and talking about all the movies, little essays, just like you'd expect something from Criterion. 
or occasionally like arrow video yeah I <laughs> was gonna point to my Herschel Glenn Lua set but it's not there right now normally it's right around there with my oddball sets but so 32 pages for a book mm -hmm. and now let's check out Frankie after I get this there. <sighs> Sinatra. <clears throat> there, the paper hit the base. That's what that was you heard. So, the voice. The eye, the one and only Frank Sinatra. So we have Anchors Away, On the Town, Guys and Dolls, Ocean's Eleven, and Robin and the Seven Hoods. So let's. Okay, looks like. Hmm. Looks like we have two. Okay, I'm trying to find out because it's Robin and the Seven Hoods. It looks like we have the com the com rat the rest of the Rat Pack as well, just like with Ocean's Eleven. So that's cool. This is the film that I was most looking forward to seeing was Ocean's Eleven. I haven't seen the original. Uh, I mean the remake, but I want to see the whole Rat Pack together. That sounds great, doesn't it? At least to me it does, so. Let's see. Dean Martin, Sammy Davis, Bing Crosby, Peter Falk, Barbara Rush. Um. Yeah, yeah, I think Bing was was a Rat Pack. I, I for, sometimes I always forget. It's you know Martin, Sammy, Dean. And there's always one I forget. But no, no, Bing's a Rat Pack because I have a compilation disc of you know of stuff and yeah, they're all on there. So photo book. Stop recording there for a minute. Top of cut. That means ah, I mean, I'm gonna have to edit this video together. That'll take an extra five minutes. Uh... Oh well. Let's let's look back at this later. Let's check out the discs. Okay. Okay, so special features, vintage featurette, Hannah and Barbera on the making of the wrong song, football thrills of 1944, vintage cartoon, jerky turkey trailer, so I'm not seeing any of the night at the movie stuff, but I still have other things like some shorts, those are always cool, although if it's like Looney Tunes, good chance I might end up doing already having it since uh, well I have volume one and two of the new Looney Tunes Platinum Collection. No, one and three. I gotta get two, but I have one and three. So I have a lot of Looney Tunes cartoons already. On the town, Mr. Whitney had a notion. A vintage cartoon, Dog Gone Tired, and a trailer, documentary, Golden Touch, from stage to screen. This is for Guys and Dolls. More Guys and Dolls stories and musical performances, trailers, so. Alright, yeah, this. 
the special features aren't getting me as excited as the other set. But Frank's, the idea that they're all Frankie films helps to make up for that. As, well, I like my crooners in general. I love me my rat pack, so it's cool. And Ocean's Eleven, we have commentary by Frank Sinatra Jr. and Angie Dickinson, interactive Lost, Ve interactive Las Vegas then and now map, a casino vignette, tonight's show starring Johnny Carson, excerpt starring guest host Frank Sinatra and guest, guest Angie Dickinson, Dickinson. Trailers, Robin and the Seven Hoods, a commentary with Frankie Jr., Vintage Feature, They Went, What They Did to Robin Hood, Vintage Cartoon, Robin Hood Makes Good, Robin Hood, Daffy Duck, and Rabbit Hood. So we got three of them. I know I have at least one of them in my collection because I have a Robin Hood tune. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was a, I think it was a Daffy one, so it might have been Robin Hood Daffy. I don't know. Maybe it was Rabbit Hood. Or maybe it was Robin Hood Makes Good. Or maybe it was all three of them. I don't know. I don't remember. But I know I would have at least one of them. So okay. Hmm. Not as awesome. If it had night at the movies, that would have been great. We have some advertising here. Oh, so this is Ultimate Sinatra, 100 songs, celebrating 100 years. Feature, features the chairmen of the board, featuring the chairman of the board's best from Columbia Capital reprise, together for the first time in one career spanning deluxe collection for CVD. Four CDs, 80 plus booklet, complete with rare photos, quotes from Nelson Riddle, Billy May, Nancy Sinatra, Old Blue Eyes himself, and many more. Also available, one CD, two LP, and digital hits collection. And on here we have, of oh, November 2015. If it's not out yet, something's not right. The official Centennial Board, forward by Tony Bennett and Steve Lynn. With Nancy Sinatra, Frank Sinatra Jr., and Tina Sinatra. So, yeah, all right. Here we go. These are, looks like these would just have been, you know, how they would have been, you know, in a single set. So, Anchors Away, Out on the Town, Guys and Dolls, Ocean's Eleven, and Robin and the Seven Hoods. And then you have little things, you know, all the main credits, so. All right, that's that. Let's check out this book now. A note to self, do not put anything on the space bar while I am recording. like this is exactly what it says on the tin the photo book so this is gonna be a really quick read let's read it together shall we and hopefully we don't get taken down for copyright infringement although some of these I'm sure probably would be public domain anyways Whenever you hear the bling, turn the page. Bling! Okay, I'm not going to do that for 32 pages. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. And I'm sure all of you will be thankful for that. Bling! Well, 
that was a riveting experience, wasn't it? And with that, and with that, I think I can close out this video and edit it because I start and stopped much more often than I intended to. So, these are the newest films I got. Pretty cool. It's cool to have a bunch of films with Frank Sinatra. Maybe it would have been cool if maybe they were really though, you know, because some of the films he's in are, you know, are public domain, so they could have just taken them and put them in there as a special feature, like Suddenly or something. It would have been cool to have Suddenly in here. I liked that movie. It was a decent little thriller. Noir, you know. This, this is going to take me back into the 30s and 40s. I'm really looking forward to that. Especially if I watch it on my projector, so it'll make it more like I'm at the cinema. I'm going to have to get my popcorn out. Yeah. And this, not as awesome with special features, but as I mentioned, I like the fact that they're all Frank Sinatra. So, pretty cool for 40 bucks. Uh, I was kind of wondering if it would be all right, but ultimately, it turned out to be pretty cool. So, looking forward to these. Well, that's it for this one. So, I will catch you all later, and I'll see you in the next one. So, take care, everyone. God bless. Now I can stop and not have to worry about editing anything.